Sometimes, when you walk into a restroom, there appears to be a bad smell, so the most obvious solution would be to open up the window for a few minutes. But if you have a busy schedule like me, the few minutes of open window turns into a few hours, and by the time you need to go, the toilet might not be at such a comfortable temperature. So in this video, I'll solve just that problem by building a device that will not just make it faster and easier to open up the window, but it will also have a timer which will close the window automatically. If you're new to this channel, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. All main parts will be linked in the description. And let's get started. Firstly, we have to figure out a way to electrically control the window. If we have a look at my 3D printer, we can see that it is driven by stepper motors. Now the reason why I'm mentioning them is because stepper motors have plenty of torque and most importantly it can be precisely controlled. Precision is very important since we want the window to open while stopping at the right position. I started with 3D printing an adapter which will connect the motor shaft onto the window's hand crank. If you think making this adapter worked on the first try, then let me tell you that the first one just snapped while forcing it onto the shaft and was also too long which made it get stuck thus unable to open or close the window. These failures made me learn from my mistakes, so instead of setting the info to 15%, I set it to 100%, which takes twice as long to print but results in a solid part that can handle some abuse. Oops. And I also added some chamfer to get more clearance. Anyways, after installing the adapter, it seems like it's gonna work. Now since I don't want to hold on to the motor, I took some measurements and 3D printed a motor bracket. Perfect. Now that the mechanical parts are complete, let's head over to the electronics. I put together a circuit prototype which consists of an A4988 stepper motor driver and an Arduino Nano microcontroller which will instruct the motor driver what to do. For example, I wrote a simple code which tells the Arduino to send a signal to the motor driver to make the motor spin one full rotation and then spin in the other direction for another full rotation. And after uploading the code, we can see the motor spinning once and then changing directions to spin once again. If I count how many rotations it takes to open up the window, in this case about 4, I can put it in the code and voila! Now this is nice, but it's not exactly what we wanted. So after 5 hours of coding, I came up with a 335 line masterpiece. In this code, I've put in a programmable timer, which allows us to set the timing from 5 minutes up to 2 hours. And for this code, I've put together a more advanced electrical prototype, consisting of some buttons, a display, and an RGB LED. So after hooking up the motor onto the prototype, let me explain the features. This button right here is the mode button. When it is pressed, there are 7 different options to choose from. The first mode is 5 minutes, the second mode is 10 minutes, and it goes up to 2 hours. For instance, when we select the 5 minute mode by pressing the window open button, the motor will spin in one direction, start a timer for 5 minutes, and then spin in the other direction once the time is up. One of the 7 modes I've put in is timer off, which allows you to open the window without it closing automatically. Now there are still a few features I have mentioned since they will be easier to understand once the project is complete. At this point I went ahead and designed a suitable enclosure for the electronics and then 3D printed it. As it is printing, I have to mention that the motor driver has a current regulation feature. And if you didn't already know, stepper motors pull a constant current even when it's not under load. 
My point is, while letting the step promoter run continuously for 3 minutes, which is an example of some child running it for a long time, the motor driver reached a temperature of 128 degrees Fahrenheit. And since it will be installed in an enclosure, I went ahead and played around with the current potentiometer until I found the sweet spot about in the center where it won't become too hot while having enough torque to be able to open or close the window. Now that it's done, we can begin to transfer all the components from the prototype into the enclosure. If you've watched my previous videos, then you might be familiar with the fact that I've pretty much always used capacitive buttons. This time though, I want to try out regular momentary push buttons, since I think they might look better. To mount the display, I'll use a piece of electric tape to hold it in place while pouring some hot glue. As I'm trying to install this RGB LED, it doesn't seem to fit. Oh well, nothing a little drilling can't fix. To safely feed out the motor wires, I'll use a cable gland. But since I forgot to make a hole when designing it, I'll just drill one out. To wire everything up, I used to in the past solder all the components separately onto the Arduino pins. But if I ever made a mistake and the Arduino got damaged, it would be a lot of work to re-solder a new one. So this time, I'll make it more modular by hooking up female headers, which will make connecting and disconnecting way easier. And after 10 minutes of connecting headers, the window opener is already functional. And oh yeah, I'm using a 12 volt power supply to power everything up. Now, we can go ahead and close it all up. At this point, we can take the whole window closer assembly and install it onto the window from my restroom. One of the features I've added is the homing feature, which is if for some reason the unit loses power, it will automatically close the window once the power is restored. The second feature is a reed switch, which will stop the motor from spinning as soon as the window is closed. And now that that's out of the way, let's do a proper test. Firstly, here are all the timer modes in action. After the window is fully opened, the timer starts 459, 458 and keeps going until it reaches zero. Next, we got a 20 minute timer, a 30 minute timer, and honestly, from here on, I can't think of a scenario where I'll be needing the window open for such a long time, but it doesn't hurt to have it as an option. So from now on, I won't have to worry about closing the window, because after a few minutes, the window opener will close it automatically. If you like this video, then make sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and consider supporting me through Patreon so I can keep creating quality content. And I will see you guys in the next video.